Hey, this is Steve with Brown Castle Games. Now you've probably played 8-Ball Pool, but have you ever heard of 8-Disc Crokinole? So this is something we made on our laser engraver a while back and it turns out it was a lot of fun. So let me introduce you to 8-Disc Crokinole. So setup's really easy. Just put two discs of each color on the 15-point line between each set of pegs. One of those will have the lone 8-Disc, which is going to point towards the shooting line where the first players will start the round. So you can play by flicking with your finger or using a crokinole cue stick to knock discs into the center hole or the gutter. If your cue disc ends up in the gutter, off the board, or in the center, then you lose your turn and your opponent may shoot from anywhere along the outer ring. Let's get started. Player 1 knocks the solid orange 5 disc into the gutter, so now player 1's goal is to knock all the remaining 1 through 7 discs off the board or into the center hole. Only then can he shoot to knock the 8 disc off the board. If you successfully knock one of your discs off the board, you get another turn, and the cue disc returns to the same quadrant's shooting line that it resides in. If that cue is exactly centered between quadrants, you can use either shooting line. Unlike traditional crokinole, if a disc is touching the outer boundary line, it's still in play until knocked into the gutter. Player 1's turn is now over. Because player 1 is solids, player 2 is stripes, and his goal is to knock the discs 9 through 15 off the board. By knocking the 13 disc into the gutter, player 2 gets another turn. Since the Q disc is primarily residing within the bottom quadrant, it returns to that shooting line. Since player 2 also knocks an opponent's disc into the gutter, he loses his turn. Player 1 gains another turn by taking out the number 1 disc. A failed attempt means it's now player 2's turn. And right back to player 1. Wow, that was a close one. If the 8 disc goes into the gutter while the player still has discs remaining on the board, then that player loses the match. Here player 2 gets a lucky bounce and eliminates the 12 disc in the center hole to get another turn. Player 2 takes out the 10 to gain another turn. Now the 15 to gain another turn. Now the 9 to gain another turn. With the number 14 disc eliminated, player 2 can now shoot for the 8 disc to win the game. But if the Q disc goes off the board while taking out the 8 disc, that player will lose the match. And just like that, player 2 wins the match. I want to thank you for joining us and watching this example game. These discs are available at browncastlegames.com. Let us know what other variations you enjoy playing on your crokinole board.